to you by the United States Sumo Federation. We have some very exciting guests on the show today. Kelly and Trent are here to tell us all about sumo wrestling and give us an exclusive demonstration. I am so excited. Great to see you both. Good to see you, Carrie. Yeah, I'm glad to be here too. Great to see you guys. Okay, Kelly, let's start with you. What's your background in sumo wrestling and athletics in general? Well, I got a scholarship in college wrestling. That's why I wrestled in college. And then I got overweight for the highest weight category of Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling. Sumo was kind of the only option at the time. But it's a 2,000-year-old sport, and it's just uh, colored my life wonderfully. Oh, I love it. I love that. Okay, now what do people not understand about sumo that you want them to know? Well, what I want them to know is that there's three weight categories, and there's both genders. And so you, Carrie, could become our next national champion. Can you see it? Can Woo! you see it now? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. And so, I mean, Trent here, he's 177 pounds, and he's a many-time uh, U.S. champion, and even took second and third in the world at various years in the past. Trent, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I was a match away twice and didn't quite medal. There's only been like two or three medalists in, all in the U.S. because... Uh, you know, we, other countries take it very, very serious, and we do too, but only a few of us do, and it's an intense hobby that costs money and things. So. Right, right, and a lot of time, it takes up a lot of time. Okay, Troy, what's so special about the World Games being in the USA this year? Well, the, the U.S. started the World Games in 1981, and it hasn't been back since until uh, this year. It's going to be in Birmingham, Alabama. It's been that long. Yeah, It's been a long. long time back here in the U.S. Okay, um, are there any physical requirements for sumo? Well, none. None. And anyone can come out. There's no physical requirements. If you want, you can make your way through the Dan ranks, which is basically a black belt, second, third, fourth degree black belt if you want to. Uh, but, but basically, there's no requirements. We want everyone to come out. Yeah, of course. Okay. And when there are sumo events in town, Trent, why should we go to them? Uh, I, I think sumo is a very uh, spectator-friendly sport. It's dynamic. It's quick. There's a lot of action. And uh, unlike some other sports, it doesn't take all day to get through an event. Yeah, absolutely. Kelly, why do you think? Well, it's, it's a buildup and then a bang. And you watch some sports, and, you know, we've all seen our parents or other people. They're watching a sport, and it's boring. They turn it off. They go somewhere. It's not like that with sumo. It's like a book that you can't put down. You watch it. There's this buildup, and then there's this bang. Yeah. And then there's another match. And people that come to our events, their eyes are wide. And they're like, wow, I had no idea that sumo was like this. Oh, it is so exciting. Okay, speaking of that, you guys are going to give us a demonstration. Let's I'm going to step back here. Kelly, you're going to kind of get ready. Now, there's, I know there's a word you wanted me to say, Hockey and I'm going to kind of do this. Tell me the word again. Hakioi. 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 Okay, I'm going to get ready. All right, and then oh, I'm going to step man. out of the way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, ready? Hakioi. <laughs> Fast. Trent has beat me in real competitions before. So, just to let you know, I had won that match, but he beats me all the time. Fred, you're a rock star. Kelly, so are you. Okay, you guys, one where more. can we where can we go to? Oh, one more. Okay. Uh, one more. Okay. Hakio. Hakio. Go. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, we're going to wrap up. That's amazing. It's amazing. Where do we go to follow you, Trent? USA Sumo.